Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, or I should say, good afternoon. Um, it certainly is a pleasure to be here in Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week and the World Future Energy Summit to really revisit a sector that is still close to my heart, renewable energy and clean technology. Today's theme of technology and innovation is a very important one. We've heard from the seven panelists about the importance of innovation and how it is a key enabler for the development of the sector. If we go back to over a decade ago, when the government of Abu Dhabi decided to enter into this sector, the decision was made not only to establish Masdar as a commercial company, but also on the same day to establish Masdar Institute um, in collaboration with Masdar Company. And the reason is very simple. The success of this sector depends primarily on innovation and research. And to this date, there's a very close collaboration between the projects conducted in Masdar and the accompanying research that's happening at the Institute. And this model, even though it's an entity level, we're now seeing it on a global level. We're now seeing increasing interest in research that's really driving down the development of the sector as a whole. If we were to look at ARENA, ARENA's report earlier this week, um, it was mentioned that, for example, the price of onshore wind dropped by over a quarter since 2007. Over the same period, solar power has dropped by 73%. That's a significant achievement. And that could not have been done without a continuous innovation in clean technology and renewable energy. With my new role in the government being responsible for the development of talent across the board and also on research, I can tell you that it has been even more pressing in the UAE government to focus on research. A key pillar of the UAE national strategy that was endorsed by the cabinet last month is innovation. Another key pillar is relevance. And those two pillars work hand in hand. On one hand, we need to focus on really empowering the universities to work on cutting edge research that is relevant to the UAE. And secondly, it cannot be done in silos. We're encouraging now institutions to not only partner internationally with their counterparts, but also to partner with the private sector within the UAE and globally. The UAE regionally has been a leader in this sector. We've also announced through the cabinet the intent of reaching 44% of our energy demand being delivered through renewable energy. That is a big achievement for a country which has been based most of the resources on its hydrocarbons. And a shift towards a more balanced energy mix shows that the UAE has a foresight, it understands the sector, and understands the importance of having a balanced energy mix that will allow it to progress towards the future. STEM, skill, STEM skills, science, technology, engineering, and maths will continue to be important. They are, after all, the drivers of engineering, which drives renewable energy adoption. But also, we're seeing globally a focus on other skills, perseverance, leadership, communication. And you will see us increasingly focusing on these attributes as well. Because at the end of the day, we want to graduate students who will help push the sector forward from a technical perspective, but also have the qualities to be able to collaborate globally and to be able as well to innovate. I think the majority of my comments and speech have been addressed by the great panelists. I mean, having seven people on the stage in itself is a testament to the importance of this sector. The UAE will continue to support the development of renewable energy. It will continue to become a global platform for experts to meet in such summit and such a platform as Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week. But a different angle this year is the focus on the youth. As some of you might know, there's a new program called Clicks, 
which is a platform to engage with the youth. Equally important on the Zayed Future Energy Prize, there is also a whole segment dedicated to schools. And the reason for that is this is a very promising sector and whatever we do today is for the future of these generations. And hence, engaging them earlier on is very important. So a key pillar of this year's Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week is the engagement with youth. In summary, we've reached a cornerstone when it comes to renewable energy. If you look at the drop in energy prices, if you look at the deployment, projecting 44% deployment of renewables by 2050, I think we can all in this room comfortably say that renewable energy has finally graduated from being a theoretical, aspirational technology to being a commercial choice for all energy policy makers. I wish you all the success and thank you very much.